Hey guys, another Monday, start of the work week. Today, I'm tearing down this fence and you can hardly see it through that shrubbery. Um, all the way across here, it's basically leaning over that way, the whole way. So I'm gonna be tearing it out, tearing all these bushes type things out, getting some of these leaves out of the way to make it easier for me to get in here with the new fence and then let's see monday i'm tearing it down today then i'll be doing some hvac work throughout the week and then i plan on coming back friday to finish it so let's get right into today As you can see, the fence is already leaning that way, falling down, so getting that up is not really going to be a big deal. But first, I'm going to get all these little bushes and things in my way, out of the way, to make it easier to get it to come back this way, because that's the neighbor's yard, and it's kind of weird. It kind of drops off. See that drop down? I don't want anything falling down there, messing anything up, so I want to be kind of strategic in how I do this. Most of the fence out. Got that little one section and that little section in there. But just a minute ago, when I was all up in this brush, I saw a snake coming at me this way, but going into the ground. So now I'm pretty much paranoid because I have no no idea where he is. Here he is. Can you see him? I don't know anything about snakes. So I just know I don't like them. I don't know which ones are venomous or not. Also, the rain is picking up. It's starting to come down a little harder. And I've torn down a fence one time in the rain and it got done but was not fun. So since I only have just a little bit left, I'm gonna try to wait this rain out before I get soaked. Got the whole fence torn down and a little bit of brush. I don't know if you can see that, but as I was tearing the fence down, it was pretty much tied down by ivy. I realized that the leaves were like six inches thick some places and even maybe even 12 inches in some uh, that I didn't realize when I went to look at it to quote it and I got to thinking there's no way I can do this by hand or I could it would just take me forever and really wouldn't be worth it so I called my landscape buddies I'm gonna have them come out there even though I didn't really charge for that I called the customer and explained that I wasn't comfortable putting the fence down right where it was with all the leaves piled up and that I didn't even realize it was that many so my mistake and I told her I was gonna have my buddies come out and she was okay with that I told her I might get pushed out a few days or whatever and she was like cool and then at the end she said whatever they charge just add it to my bill so I appreciate the fact that she knows I'm young made a little mistake and she's willing to work with me I'm planning on working with her a little bit too on the price that they give me just so it's fair fair for everyone and I just explained to her how much I appreciated her understanding where I was coming from so on the way to the landfill now to unload everything see y'all there done at the job for now until my landscape buddies can get over there and do their work so now my whole schedule is being kind of thrown around <laughs> guys 
just had my landscape buddies here early this morning. As you saw, they got it all cleared out for me to start setting post. I've had a little bit of a rough week slash morning. My truck's been acting up a little bit. You know, it's kind of intermittently running. Sometimes it will start, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll go over 45 miles an hour. Sometimes it'll stay around 35, 45. So right now, my truck's at the shop. My uncle's a master mechanic. I've talked about him before in my barter video. And I just went and got my part. So later this afternoon, he's gonna fix it for me. And then I'll later do something for him. We'll do a little barter like I talked about in that video. But he was kind enough to let me ride his truck around for the day so I can come get these posts set. The plan is to get the posts set today, and then tomorrow come stringers, pickets, and be out of here. Just got all the holes dug. It's eight of them. Got my dad help me with the auger. I did not go with that one man auger this time. I went with the two man. Considering what happened last time, I was a little nervous to do it by myself. So had dad help me, appreciated him. Now I'm about to set this post and the post down there and then run me a string across so they're kind of straight and all in one line and still planning on getting the post set today <laughs> Got my corner post right here. That's gonna be one with the gate on. See how they did the wood screwed to the wall? I'm gonna do that. Then I got this corner and then way down there you can see. Gotta take the auger back because I just rented it for four hours because that's cheaper and I didn't need it all day. I'm back from dropping the auger off. I got my string from one post to the other and that is to ensure that they stay in line all the posts in between. So, you see my holes all the way down. I'm just gonna make sure that my posts come up, touch the line, so it'll be one straight line all the way down. Got all my fence posts set. I don't know if you can see, but they're all in the line. The line is barely touching them on this side of the post on every one. Only other post I have to set is my last gate post. I've already had a metal gate welded and I already know the opening, so I'm gonna make sure that this gate will fit by measuring the metal gate and then making sure I set this post far enough from that post so they'll both fit. Here's the outline of our fence. All the posts are set. The only thing I haven't done is that's where the other one tied into the house. But you can see it's up against that leaning retaining wall looking thing. And as you can see right here, leaves and brush and everything piled up right there. So my thought was to bring it over this way. So if any leaves and stuff fall, you can get your rake in there, clean it out. Also, if this goes to fall, it won't destroy the brand new fence. But I want to call the customer first, talk to them, see what they want to do before I pull the trigger on something like that. It's 8 o'clock on Friday, I'm just now getting home. Had a pretty long day, got my materials loaded up for tomorrow, got some in the shed that I won't put in until tomorrow morning. And this is pretty much what working for yourself looks like. Friday, get home at 8. I'll be up tomorrow on Saturday finishing this fence because got to get the job done. Even though it's Friday, and in this day, on a good note, 
because I got a package. Unboxing, baby. This is my first unboxing video. This is not sponsored. But I just feel like filming it because I can. DeWalt Power, baby. DeWalt Power, baby. For those of you who don't know, I've been doing some heating and air work. It does get hot outside in the summer and hot in the attic in the summer. So I've gotten this DeWalt fan. Hopefully it'll blow my hair back and keep me cool over the summer. So I'll have to do a review on this in a couple months after summer. See how it holds up. So yeah, I got all my posts set today. Going around the stringers and the pickets tomorrow and the double gate. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. <laughs> So we've obviously got all the stringers up and we started on the front side with the pickets. You can see right here and right there. Now we're going to do our double gate and then we'll run with the pickets down when we're done with that. Got my metal gate frames up. About to get my 2x4s horizontally and then nail my pickets to it. You can see I got the 2x4s screwed to the metal gate frame and we'll be doing our pickets in a little bit but they're functioning really well the gate is the hardest part of today so that's about to be done as soon as i put these pickets on then we'll run down here be pretty easy we'll be getting out of here soon what up got the gate done so about to start rolling on these pickets i just started just to get a good base going and then i'm about to run it on down fence I'm so excited to be done with this thing plus I'm super happy with how it turned out can you even tell there's a gate there I know you can't it's kind of a hidden gate besides the latch right here but this side opens and then it's also a double gate if you want it but I got it pinned down right now to keep them closed it's the outside I ended up lagging here and how I was explaining yesterday you can tell where the old fence was with that little 
spot missing paint but I moved it over for the reasons that I explained client loved the idea of moving it and apparently it's been painted for years and they're planning on repainting it so really weren't too worried about what was going on with that paint down there that's it shutting this is the double gate and the inside would have never been able to get this done without my boys coming over here and getting all the landscaping right um, I went a little bit off from the ledge just so I'd have room to work and then they could also get out here with some weed killer or weed whacker to make sure it doesn't get overgrown again because basically the ivy took the fence I mean it was leaning being held up by those two trees and the ivy so keep that ivy off fence will last a whole lot longer hey guys just want to recap the week it was a pretty long week starting Monday had unforeseen landscape work that needed to be done. My buddies were able to get over there and get it done so I could set the post Friday. Also Friday, my truck was acting up but my uncle was able to get it back running with a fuel pump. He made it look super easy. Total net profit on that job was $1,400. Hard work does pay off. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.